My name is Julius Reese Jr. Uh, I'm in class of 2023, sophomore. I uh, play left field, center field, and bat third in the lineup. I am uncommitted, and this is what's in my bag. So, first up, I got my, this is my bat, it's a Dean Marini. This is, this actually means a lot to me because it came from my uh, cousin, E.P. Reese. And um, he, I, he used this throughout, he used this either throughout, he was at NC State, NC State and Liberty. Um, on it, he put he uh, put some tape on it for me, rest in peace, ball, because you know, you just, that's what you're doing, you just gotta kill the ball when you hit it. Um, yeah, I, like, I always like, I mean, I've always wanted to be like my cousin when it came with baseball or anything, really, I look up to him. So just being able to get this from him, I, that's like, probably one of my most favorite moments when it came to baseball and playing this sport. I've been using this bat for, I think this will be my second, third year. I haven't even got a new bat yet. So this this thing, it means, it means a lot to me, really. I, like this is one bat that I probably would never like give up unless I just have to, you know, or unless it just dies out on me. So like this, this bat, it means a lot to me. Um, oh. And here, it's my baseball glove. Actually, with this, I, I, I had no clue. Like, I was using the glove before this that my um, cousin EP, uh, EP got for me as well. And then it, it turned out my hand was too big for it. So I just had to give it up. So I went to the store. I went to the store one day with my uncle Butch, Butch Willard. Uh, as we call him Pops, he gives me almost everything I can ever ask for. So when I received, I received this with like it was like seventy dollars it was, actually wasn't that much it was like 70 70 60 dollars when it came to gloves i know some gloves are like over 100. it was like some, some crazy gloves and then so i got this and i lost it maybe like the second day i received it but i had no idea where it was at i was looking for it for maybe almost a week before and like good only good thing about that was i was not playing yet we were still i was still in the middle of basketball season so of course that overlapped so i really wasn't too much worried about it and then i think maybe my first practice my first practice my uncle pulled up my uncle pulled up with the glove in his hand and told me that i left it somewhere out in the street right outside of his neighborhood he picked it up put my name inside of it he told me if i ever lose this again that he would strip me out of my baseball, out of my baseball clothes right then and there, and it's, I'm done. So I made sure I kept, I keep up with this, and I thank Uncle Butch every time for keeping, for giving me this, because I'm pretty sure if I didn't have, if I didn't have by now, I'd probably been stripped my whole baseball career. Uh, I used to keep some handy stuff. Yeah, here we go. Ah. These big cleats right here. These are size 16 cleats. I spent maybe, you know, regular cleats are like maybe $120. With me having a big foot, I had to spend, I think maybe $150 extra just to get this. So the reason why this means a lot to me is because you're not gonna find too many big feet athletes like this where you're looking for just cleats in general. Like these, yeah, this right here, this, this is, it means a lot to me because I mean that's money money don't grow on trees you gotta you gotta have it either way so yeah these right here these Nike I think there's some yeah Nike reacts yeah these so this right here it means a lot uh, uh get my sleeves there we go this right here I wear this almost every game so I got this from my school, actually, it was like a little present. It was actually a little present for me when I uh, entered for the baseball team. And like, I've never seen like a design like this. Like Greensboro Day, you know, we're the Bengals. So it's already like a unique kind of name, unique color with it. It has like a, I think, what's this? Uh, yeah, the eye, it has the eye of a Bengal. The eye of a Bengals, green, yellow, you know. It's really unique and it matches like almost every jersey we have. Cause we have about maybe six, maybe six, seven jerseys. We just only wear white pants, but just different, like different jerseys. And so like every jersey we have, this matches it. So like this, this is like a, a must. It's, it's part of my drip. It's, it's part of my drip. It's a must have. I gotta have it, man. Uh, get, my, get to my gloves. So I only wear 
one pair of gloves. I wear one pair of gloves when I go to uh, bat. And it's always on my left hand because like my left hand is usually where I grip the bat, I grip the bat more with my left more than my right. And I kind of just let everything follow through. So like this is a US, I got, they call it the July 4th East Time gloves. I got these maybe three, four years ago uh, as a um, birthday present from um, my uncle as well, Uncle Butch. They're like, they're kind of worn, they're kind of worn out just a little bit because I this I wear them every day. I don't really look to go get new stuff because I kind of, I'm like, kind of like, I just, if I have something that works that first game, I don't want to stop using it. I'm just, just how I am. I'm like, I don't, I believe in bad luck and I feel like certain things give me bad luck. This glove right here is never gave me bad luck as long as I played. So I automatically feel like this is just something I have to have when I go up to bat and let's, and if I don't have this, I'm usually wearing no gloves. So like it's, it's a must have, I have to have it. So yeah, this, um, I got some other Under Armour. I do have some other Under Armour gloves. Uh, these, these gloves right here, they came from my, um, they came from my uncle, but not my uncle, but it was my EP's, EP's uh, dad. He suggested it to my, to my father to get these because these were EP wore. So, you know, if it's what my cousin wore, I'm trying to be like him. So this like, this right here, this Under Armour glove, for my left hand, it's a must have. Uh, I use, I think I use these once this year. And the one time I did use them, I almost hit, I hit the ball. All, it like hit the dead center, hit dead center field of the fence and bounced right off. So this like, I, I have options. It's kind of give me a little good luck as well. So, you know, got it. I, like, I have these just as a backup. I got two good luck pair of gloves. Uh, we're gonna get to old reliable right here. Now this is a old school, old school Demarini bat. I, I forgot what's the name of this stuff. Ooh, the, okay, the Vex one. Yeah. So this came, I'm trying, this came like three, my freshman year um, at Glen High School from another player because he realized like the bat I had, I had the same exact bat as this, but it was like a, I think it was like a 30 inch and I'm, that's like a two feet to me. So I can't, I can't have no 30 inch. So I got this, I got this from my friend. I think it was either from Duncan Duncan or Michael Carrico, one of the two. It's one of them, I don't know which one, but once they see this, they'll tell me who, which one it was. I forgot, it was one of my players. They gave me this and it has like, so like the first time I used it, it had the most pop I've ever seen in any bat. Like I could like tap it and it'll be a nice looper right to the outside of second base or over shortstop. Like it's, this is probably one of the most pop bats I've ever had. I played with this, I think maybe three or four games. I actually got my first ever high school hit off of this bat. Um, I think we were playing the Forsyth Home Educators. So that was, it was like, that was, that's why I, I'm, I will always keep this bat. It's, this is history right here, I man. That's my basket, that's my baseball history, I man. I gotta keep that, man. So yeah, thank you to whoever gave this to me. Uh, I appreciate you for this. this. This probably started me, this probably started me off with this whole baseball thing. So thank you. Uh, um, of course, we're gonna get to the, you know, the stuff you, you always have to have, you know, you got the, you got the helmet, man. You gotta, you gotta have the helmet, bro. You know, you can't just go up there and with no helmet, you, know, you can't be out there getting knocked in the head. I mean, I don't trust the pitcher that much for him to just throw the ball to me without anything on. See, I messed up the last game, got hit right at my elbow. I can't even, can't even feel it right now, but you know, that's all right, you know. We, we, ain't, we ain't gonna make excuses out here, man. So we got that, man. Uh, I think I got my wrist plate in here. My oh, I got the I forgot about these. Okay, so these are some Nike gloves that I have not to, I have not worn yet. Why? Because I don't believe I, I gotta keep my look. I gotta keep my look good. But so when if I take one, I'm gonna try these out. I might try these out today. I might not. It just all depends on it all depends on how I'm, how I'm doing right now. You know, it's a tough game today. It's a big conference game, you know. We got number one in the conference, number two battling now. So we'll see. Yeah, as long as we gotta see how it goes. I don't wanna, you know, put no bad luck on me. So but yeah, these are some Nike gloves. I think they were like $30, $40 when I got them at Hippie Sports. So yeah, it's some Nike gloves, man. Uh we're gonna get this is actually my favorite jersey that we wear. The yellow, yellow and black, number 15. My reason for having number 15, honestly, I don't. It was, I do remember my cousin, he wore this number 15 at one time uh, when he was at North Davidson. 
And if it was, and when he was at, wasn't at North Davidson playing with the dirt bags or the canes, he was wearing either number five or some other, uh, some other number. Yeah, so many numbers. But number 15 and five are the two I really do remember, and that I, it actually meant a lot to me. So 15, and also as well, Chris Jacobs, he wore that um, when he played for Glen High School, and I wore that at Glen High School. So it's, it's kind of a lot of history when it comes between number 15. The yellow jersey, see, this is probably the best looking jerseys out here. You got the Nike, you know, we're at Nike school. Uh, little black font, Bengals on it. You know, yeah, this is like my, yeah, this is like my all time favorite jersey. Uh, we have like some pinstripe jerseys and stuff. We wore that yesterday, so I can't wear that today. So, uh, yeah, man, so that's what's all in my bag for today, man. So thank you, thank you.